While he might have grown up in and around agriculture, David Morgan chose a different path from his parents' tobacco and poultry operation when starting up his own farm. And that decision was validated with him and his wife, Lindsay, being named the 2023 YFNR Achievement Award winner in their last year of the program, which marks the culmination of a lifelong dream. I uh, started as soon as I was out of school. Even before then, I was growing produce. I was planting vegetables like squash and uh, zucchinis and just knew I always wanted the farm. So as soon as I got able to go to the bank, you know, here we are. So this is my 16th crop. So we've got the cotton and peanuts and, you know, really enjoy what we do. And we is the operative word as this couple works hand in hand in order to keep this family farm running smoothly. I'm the parts runner, the lunch giver, the, you know, I've had to hop on the tractor and help him out before, you know, uh, move, move peanut trailers, move peanut bales, you know, whatever is needed. Um, you know, you can't survive without teamwork. It's, it's, even if it's just emotional support or somebody to vent to or, you know, whatever, it's, it's huge. Crops aren't the only thing growing on this operation as the Morgans also get a unique opportunity to raise their two daughters, Blythe and Landon, on the farm. It's a lifestyle neither them nor their parents would have any other way. If we're being 100% honest, there's nowhere else I would rather live. And as a teacher, I will probably catch some flack for saying this, but, you know, I, I love teaching. But there are no greater lessons than living on the farm. My kids will learn far more doing this and living here than they'll ever learn in the classroom. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's good to see them walking up and down the rows and picking off the peanuts or the cotton bowls and it just makes a lot of memories. I mean, they'll, they'll, I, I, I think they'll learn responsibility a, a lot faster than if they was just sitting in the house and not being able to wander around out here and doing the things that we do. Speaking of learning, the Young Farmer and Ranchers program has played a major role in development for the Morgans as it nurtures both leadership and communication skills. As far as lessons, you know, it's, it's helped us do better networking and meet other people from all around the state and just communicate with what one farm's doing versus what we may be doing and, you know, get a good idea from a, from a neighbor and utilize it on our operation. Despite all the long hours and hard work put in over the past 15 years, the passion and pride both Lindsay and David have for growing crops hasn't waned one bit. One thing that no matter where you go in the world, you can say, oh, we farm, and nobody else does that. You know, there's only a, a, a small percentage of, of us that farm, that feed the world, that clothe the world, and it's just, I, I like being able to go somewhere and claim, yeah, we farm. Not everybody gets to do that. It's, it's just kind of special to me. I mean, I enjoy, you know, from the beginning to the end, I mean, it's, it's, it's a fever like I have for nothing else. Reporting from Pierce County, I'm Damon Jones for the Farm Monitor.